the Motor Direct Online Starter DOL with use Siemens Logo 8 Programmable Controller. Welcome at Tesla Institute Online Courses. Today we will talk about how to use a Siemens Logo 8 Programmable Controller to create a Motor Direct Online Starter DOL circuit. First let's look at the circuit and its components. We have here a Siemens Logo 8 programmable controller, which is a part of control circuit. Power circuit and function block diagram FBD is a program for controller. Siemens Logo 8 controller has two power supply terminals, eight digital inputs terminals, four relay digital inputs, LCD display, which can show inputs and output states. In the control circuit we use two push buttons. Normal open push button S1, which is used for start a motor. This button is connected to plus of 24 volts power source, and to digital input I1 of a logo controller. Normal closed push button S2, which is used for stop a motor. This button is connected to plus of 24 volts power source and to digital input I2 of the controller. To a digital output Q1 is connected a coil of contactor K1. Terminal A2 of the coil is connected to minus terminal of 24 volts voltage. In the power circuit we have a motor M1, main contactor K1, and terminal block X1. Three phase power supply is connected to terminal block X1. On another side terminal X1 is connected to contacts of contactor K1. Another side of these contacts are connected to a motor M1. Now let's look at the function block diagram, which is a program for logo controller. For created we used two blocks, two simple logic gates B001 OR, and B002 AND. It is a simple sequential circuit with two inputs I1, I2 and one output Q1. The circuit can be described by the following formula. In a truth table we can see all possible states of output Q1 depending on the input states. At the beginning when input I1 is in a low state, and input I2 in a high state, output Q1 is in low state. Then when we change input I1 state to high, output Q1 get to height state. Then when we change back input I1 state to low, output Q1 stay in high state. High state on output Q1 will be till input I2 will not become to low state. When we change input I2 state to low, output Q1 will change to low state too. After back high state on input I2. Output Q1 will remain in low state. And the circuit will back to beginning state. A full work cycle of program we can watch on the simulation. Now let's see how it works in our DOL circuit. As the push button S2 is normal close, when it is not pressed it always gives a plus 24 volts voltage on a input I2. On a LCD display we see that input I2 is in a high state. The high state we also see on the input I2 of a function block diagram. 
Then when we press push button S1, on the input I1 Apira, plus 24 volts voltage. And output Q1 get to the high state. A coil K1 get energized, and contacts of contactor K1 get closed. Three phase power is supply to motor M1, and motor get started. After release push button S1, the output Q1 remain in high state, and motor works still. Then when we press push button S2, I input I2 get to low state, and output Q1 get to low 2. The coil K1 is not energized, the contacts of contactor get opened, and motor stops. After release a push button S2 circuit back to beginning state. A full cycle of working DOL we can watch on simulation. Young English Engineer. Your way to the electronics world. Like, our Facebook page and learn more. Project provided by Tesla Institute. School of Electrical Engineering and Automation.